This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a snow cone cake. Let's start by making some gelatin. I'm sprinkling two gelatin packets over six tablespoons of water, then I mix it up, I let it sit for five minutes, and then I heat it in the microwave until the gelatin is dissolved in the water. I split the gelatin into two bowls, and I'm adding green and yellow gel food color to one half, and this will be my lime flavor. And then I just add yellow to the other half of the gelatin, which is going to be my lemon flavor. This snow cone is lemon lime. So now I can move on to the cake. So here I'm stacking two two inch round layers and two slightly larger layers above that. I place a wooden dowel through the center so that the layers don't slide around while I carve the cake. So I did a little research on snow cones and I found out that in the 1850s, the American Industrial Revolution made ice readily available. So they'd transport the ice using ice wagons. Well, as the wagons would pass through cities, kids would chase the wagons and ask for a scrape from the ice block. Then mom started adding flavoring to the ice for the kids, and that's how it all started. How wholesome is that? Oh my gosh, what a nice fun thing for the kids to do. <laughs> all right, so the cake is covered, so now I place it in the fridge to firm up while I work on the final outside layer. But first, I wanna tell you a bit about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. As a cake decorator, I work with my hands a lot. So naturally, technology scares me. <laughs> and that's why I am grateful for Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy for people like me to make clean, attractive websites without having to learn things about programming and coding and hacking into the mainframe. <laughs> and what I like best about Squarespace is that it's more than just a website designer. They have special features that make things like buying a domain or running email campaigns super simple. And tools that'll help your site stand out in search results. So if you've been thinking about starting a new project, why wait any longer? Head over to squarespace.com right now for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sidesurf to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Who wants a snow cone in a boring old smooth white cup when I can make it look like real styrofoam? So I'm making a mold of styrofoam using food safe molding putty. I work the putty onto the styrofoam, then I let it set for 20 minutes and I peel it off. How cool is that? So next I roll out and I trim white modeling chocolate and I press the mold onto the chocolate. Then I wrap the modeling chocolate around the chilled cake and I trim away any excess chocolate. Look at that texture. I am so happy I used a mold. I love it so much. This honestly might be one of my favorite textures. It's like little smooshed balls. <laughs> I'm a fan. Then I trim away the top of the cup with a blade. So this is handmade, so it isn't going to be absolutely perfect, but I am trying my best to make this as even as I can get it. Then I score the chocolate with a sculpting tool about a half inch lower from the top lip. If there's any areas where the styrofoam texture rubbed off the chocolate, I just press the texture mat on those areas and it blends right in. You don't want to press too hard or it's going to mess with the shape of the cup. So I just take a quick flame to the side of the chocolate and it takes that texture much easier. White modeling chocolate isn't typically bright white. It is slightly ivory. So I'm painting the entire cup with white powdered food color. If I showed this cup to a random person and I asked them what they think the cup's made of, I feel like absolutely nobody would guess chocolate. <laughs> it really looks like a lightweight material. Now I'm adding some white buttercream to the top of the cake. To 
To create a crushed ice effect, I'm just cutting up gelatin with a knife. I want these really tiny, uneven pieces. Then I place the gelatin onto the cake. One side green and the other side yellow. And there you have it, a realistic snow cone cake. But this one won't melt. This cake is amazing. I really like it. It would be so fun for a summer themed party. Now let's cut it. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for a new cake every week. If you'd like to support this channel and myself, you can head over to subscribestar.com slash sidesurfcakes and become a member.